So, what we have here is like one big zord. Or like a mama zord? No, that sounds lame. Oh, I got it. A mega zord. Yeah, that's good. That was just a little line from the uh, movie when the uh, the Megazord was first uh, formed. It was it was quite an interesting movie. Anyway, hello everyone. This is Eli G Brown slash Eli G Brownian. I in the last video I showed off a mock that showed the original Megazord and Dragonzord built using Lego Bionicle pieces. Now I went ahead and attempted to make the Megazord from the recent movie that came out. I did already see the movie in theaters like a month ago. It was a pretty cool movie. You may even get it on DVD when it comes out, although I think it actually is already out. But uh, I just haven't had the time to uh, get it, but I may get it at some point. So anyway, what I have done is as much as I could, the best I could with the parts I had, built the movie version of the Megazord, which is very different from the original version. So, in this video, I will not only be talking about how I managed to make this mock right here, but I will also do a side-by-side -side comparison between the original Megazord and the movie version. Okay, so, for this one, the build of it is very different from the original Megazord. I did use a reference from one of the toys online, one of the actual Megazord toys. And what I did here, like for the legs, quite similar to what I did for uh, the, the, sh the original show version of the Megazord. I used, uh, well, I used one blue foot over here and one black foot over here, since this is supposed to be the Mastodon Zord and this is the Triceratops Zord. And in order to avoid having one of a pair in the part fin, I just went ahead and used the extra feet uh, on the uh, lower um, legs. So that's what, well, yeah, the lower legs. Just to add some bulk right there. And this part right here, this is actually a piece from the Hero Factory Invasion from Below series. I decided to use that to add in a bit of yellow because this is where the, the Sabertooth Tiger Zord goes in this formation. And the upper part here basically shows the Tyrannosaurus part. I assume the arms are supposed to also be part of the Tyrannosaurus, so this part here well, I used these two uh, dragon heads from the Viking series. I used this one over here is supposed to be the Tyrannosaurus Zord. This one is supposed to be the Pterodactyl Zord, though not a lot of pink is used in there. And also the wings that were used on the back, which are also from the Pterodactyl. It kind of has a little bit of pink in it this time. I mean, what I used is the Krika leg pieces uh, for the wings on the back and I guess they kind of have a bit of pink in them I mean they are blended in with some red and transparent plastic in there not a lot of pink parts are found within this sort of building system and the head is made using a Hero Factory Brain Attack series headpiece using the head piece and the uh, visor, as well as also using Bowrock eye pieces for the horn, because that is what the head of the Megazord actually looked like. And I used the dark blue skull spider mask head piece for the blue part of the chest, since the Megazord had a blue chest in there. And I'm not quite sure what these are supposed to be. What I used is the Kanoka Disc Launcher over here. And then I used this weapon piece right here on the other side. So that is the movie version of the Megazord. And now what I'm going to do is do a side-by-side -side comparison between that and the original Megazord. Okay, so... Quite obviously, there have been a number of different changes for how the Megazord is assembled. I mean, we still have the same 
uh, horns on the side of the head. And, well, as far as uh, where, what each Zord does on the combination, well, the Triceratops Zord is used for a foot, a leg, in both cases. But, on the original Megazord, the Mastodon formed the arms, but on the movie version, it forms a leg. And while the Tiger Zord was a leg on the original Megazord, it's now part of the main body on the new one. And while the original had the Tyrannosaurus form the main torso and the head, in the movie version, it seems to only form the upper body and the arms. I think the pterodactyl is forming the head this time around. I could be wrong, but it, that's just what it looked like. I did see a bit of pink on the head from the picture I used for reference, so I think that is how it goes. And another thing that you will notice is that the new Megazord has wings on the back. The original does not. It has, instead, just the cannons on the back. And, you'll notice that the Megazord uses the Mastodon headpiece as a shield. Well, the new Megazord does not do that. The Mastodon is, is a leg now. A leg. So, that's about all that I can say for this one. I hope you liked it. Which version of the Megazord do you like? Do you like the original, or do you like the updated version? I personally w do prefer the original, but I do find the new one to be quite interesting. You know, just reimagining what the Megazord could look like, or what it could have looked like. And that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next video.